guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, if you are new here. I'm very happy to meet you. I've got a big old fashion haul today. This is a collective haul. I've collected this stuff over the last few months. It wasn't all bought in one hit. I'm just gonna get straight on in and start the video, otherwise we'll be here for hours. And I've already forgotten some bits, bear with. Some of this is summer stuff, some of this is um, with autumn in mind. Now, I saw these on Lorna Lux's Instagram, she's an absolute babe, she dresses so like chic, uh, feminine and everything just looks really luxurious and she recommended these. I've been on the hunt for the perfect pair of leather trousers, like trousers slash leggings for years, absolutely years. They've never been the perfect fit, they've always either been baggy or too tight or too leggingy and just really cheap looking. However, she recommended these from ASOS and they're from the brand Stradivarius or Stradivarius, however you say it. A shop that I love, I wish I lived near one. I always go into the one when we go to Belfast um, and there was one in Ibiza as well and I was just all over it. I wish I had more luggage room because I would have bought the whole shop back. However, uh, ASOS stock them as well and they are these. I tried these on this morning. They are the perfect, when I say perfect, I mean absolutely spot on PU leather, like fake leather trousers. So they haven't got pockets or anything. They're not like jeans, but they've got this really flattering sort of like darting on the back on your bum. So it's so flattering on your bum. They're high waisted. They've got like some stitching detail across the knee and they go down so skinny. It's not even gonna do them justice when I try them on, but let me tell you, they are just amazing. I cannot rave about these enough. They don't look cheap, they're not shiny, they're probably picking up a little bit shiny because of my ring light, but they are so matte, they look just stunning on. So, And the best thing is, they were 19 99 They've got quite a bit of stretch in them, so I went for a 10. I'm usually between a 10 and a 12 on the bottoms. If anything, I would size down because you just don't want leather trousers to be oversized. I just think they look like a bin bag otherwise. So you want them properly form-fitting. These with big baggy knits in the autumn with some trainers or some Doc Martens would just look absolutely incredible. So I am overjoyed with these. And like I said, 20 quid. They're an absolute steal. Groove is in the heart. Ha! Ah. Right, so the next thing was a little bit of a naughty purchase. I got these while we were away in Ibiza. Again, something I have wanted for ages, a staple, something that's going to last me a lifetime. I have been eyeing these up for, I'm going to say, three or four years. I've never took the plunge to buy them because they're quite pricey. They were £140, well, £140. Euros. Don't really know what that equates to in English pounds, probably more or less the same. However, these are the last pair in the Carhartt shop. Again, I don't live anywhere near a Carhartt shop. I know I can order things online, but... When it costs £140, I don't want to order it online and have to return it. I want to be able to try it on and know what it's like. So, I picked up the Carhartt Dungarees. I've wanted these for an eternity. I love them. I got them in the... It's called a certain colour, the brown. Um, Hamilton Brown. I tried them on in the shop. They fit like an absolute dream. Last pair left, so me and Paul were just like, right. Let's get them. Basically, they're an oversized pair of dungarees um, and they're kind of like a baggy leg, stunning. I will show you them on. When I saw that they were small, I was like, they are not gonna fit my hips, no chance. But they are so loose, so baggy, so flattering. They're just everything I hoped for and they were so worth the money. Um, I've been wearing them with a short sleeve white top and my checked vans, which I'll show you in a minute. And then for the winter, I'm thinking like a long black sleeve, like tight t-shirt or a black hoodie underneath, Doc Martens. I just, I cannot wait. So these and the leggings are probably one of my favourite purchases out of this haul. So I'm going to stick with Carhartt because while we were there, I picked up this t-shirt and it's gorgeous, like, I don't know what colour to describe this as. It's like a nudie, peachy pink. It's just one of their basic t-shirts. It's got the little Carhartt um, logo on the pocket. Really oversized, really baggy. I think this will go really nice with those leather trousers or just a pair of mum jeans or black skinny jeans. They're just versatile. Um, I don't know how much that was. It was 29 euros and then it was in the sale for 20 euros. So like 18, 19 pounds, something like that. 
a bargain, really nice quality, and I got it in a small. That was a small men's though, so that it's still quite oversized. Stick in my car heart. I bought this over in England. I didn't buy this while I was away. I just needed, you know those days where you feel like a boy and you don't want to wear a girly handbag? I needed a handbag for the days where I want to be a male. <laughs> I'm such a tomboy, so I need to have a handbag that isn't really feminine. Um, especially when I'm wearing things like oversized baggy t-shirts and skinny jeans and trainers. And I'm going for like that skater boy vibe. Um, I needed a handbag, so I picked up this Carhartt one. Same colour in that Hamilton brown. It's got a black strap, like a crossbody. Love this. I took it to Ibiza with me and wore it to death. It's got a phone. However, the phone pocket doesn't actually fit an iPhone, which is strange in this day and age. I don't really know the purpose of it. It looks like it fits a Nokia 3310 and that is it. <laughs> Little front pocket. It's got two big zip compartments and then a zip in the back, um, inside in the back. I think this was £25, so pretty reasonable for a handbag. I just think it adds a little bit of tomboyish to an outfit and I love it. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm all over it. Okay, the next two things I got from Ibiza were from, if you've ever been to Ibiza and you visit the old town, if you haven't, I highly recommend it. Probably one of the nicest parts, well, the nicest part of Ibiza in my opinion. They've got such amazing little boutiques all along the back streets, like winding through the town. I'm just in my element when I'm there. And they've got this shop which everything is 10 euros. Now I picked up two jumpsuits. Everybody went mad for this one on Instagram when I featured it on my, I think I put it on my story. Or did I post it on my feed? I can't remember. Um, and they're these oversized cotton jumpsuits. Now I've got a blue and white striped one. They're quite see-through. You need nude underwear with these. Um, obviously I know that you guys can't pick these up unless you go to IB, so a bit of a ball lake. But I thought I'd show you, if you do ever go to Ibiza, you need to check out this shop. I'm sure it was like 10 euro and under, it was called. Like Poundland, but 10 Poundland. <laughs> the clothes in there were stunning as well. You could get real cute, you know, like that white clothing with like all the pom-poms and stuff on. Really nice beachwear. But I saw these hung up. They did these in so many colours. So it's just like a camisole top. And then it goes down into a wide leg sort of collot length, a little tie around the waist. I wore this um, on the journey home as my airport outfit. So comfy, like ridiculously comfy. It felt like I had my pajamas on, so really lightweight, really nice. I thought I'd just feature that and I got it in beige as well. I haven't worn this one yet. This is more of, it's more of a heavy fabric, this one. I just think it's a really chic curly. And then again, it goes down into the collot. Got a low back, again, that sold me. But just to chuck on so you don't have to think or i mean i probably won't get much wear out of these now because we are in september however i'll probably wear them around the house like a sunday morning attire you can wear them to bed for 10 pounds i probably would wear it to bed just so nice so lightweight so versatile as we transition into autumn it looked nice with a real thick black knitted jumper on the top and some vans i just can't go wrong I thought I'd just show, share those in case you are off to Ibiza or if you're going next year, check out that shop. Fingers crossed it's still there. And then lastly from Ibiza, you can get this anywhere. It's from Pull and Bear. Again, I haven't got a Pull and Bear anywhere near me. I know I can get it on ASOS and online and all that, but I was just in the shop and this stood out to me. They had it on a mannequin in the front of the shop and I fell in love. It's one of my granny dresses. <laughs> I think I featured, did I put this on Instagram? I can't remember. Yes, I did, it was on a story and every I got so many DMs asking where it was from. So if I didn't reply, I'm sure I did because I usually reply to everyone, it's from Pull and Bear. If they've got it on their website, I will link it below, but it's like this dark green, it's like a smock dress, but midi. It goes all the way down. It's got these gorgeous, almost patchwork floral pattern over it. I love the neckline. Um, I don't usually like a v-neck on me. I feel like, because I've got quite big boobs, I feel like it just draws attention to my cleavage. And I don't really like that as a look, but hey ho, it looks nice. Um, it kind of stops at the right place. It's got floaty sleeves, so if you don't like the tops of your arms, this is perfect. I got it because I wanted to wear it with my white trainers and it looks so nice. But also, going into autumn, I know I keep on about it, but we are in September now, we've got to think forward. Um, picking out the colour in the flowers and wearing either like a jersey sweater with it 
over the top or a thick knitted jumper I think will just look gorgeous with a leather jacket. Oh, absolutely love it. I think I've taken the tag off, but it was £9.29. No, it's £25.99. Got it in a small. Fits amazing. Absolutely love this. I've been living in it. Everyone's got a pair. I'm so late to this trend, but it's the checked uh, old school vans. I've had the black, just like the black and white, you know, old school ones for years. They've died a death. I just use them for dog walking now. So I thought I'd get something different. I'm I'm not bored of the black ones because they'll always be like a classic but I thought I'd get the checkerboard ones and surprisingly they go with quite a lot. I've even worn these with patterns and then I think it looks really cool. I love them. They're quite pricey though. They were like £55 just for a slip-on which I thought, come on Vans, you need to lower your prices a little bit. They were never that pricey. I remember Vans and Converse being like £35-£40 back in the day. That probably shows my age but... I feel like trainers these days are ridiculously priced. They're true to size, I got mine in a five. However, they rub like fuck. Like, seriously, I cannot wear them in. They're just suppling up a bit at the back. But I think because they've got like a leather strip inside, it rubs, especially when you've got like sweaty feet. I know that sounds minging, but it happens. We're all human. <laughs> God, I got the worst pins and needles in the world. <gasps> now this next thing was, I think probably the bargain of the century. I popped into TK Maxx about a month back, not really going in for anything, I was just having like a mooch about it. Walking through the bag section and I came across this. I just instantly fell in love. It is a Herschel like weekend bag. I'm in love with this. Now I've looked at camo bags from Carhartt but they're like ridiculously priced and this was to be fair, I think it was £90 originally and in TK Maxx it was 25. I was just like, that is coming home with me. It is so roomy. It's got this huge zip. And then inside is this like gorgeous pinstripe red, red and white fabric. Now you could easily use this as um, hand luggage on the plane. I'm going to Belfast in, I think it's October. Start of October, so I'm gonna be using this as my hand luggage because it's just stunning and it fits so much more than a hand luggage suitcase. I don't know whether it was just a one-off in my TK Maxx or everywhere's doing them but if you like it I'd get your bum there like ASAP because I can see these selling out. It's got a real nice front pocket. I just love it. I am a tomboy. I love a camo print and a brand like Herschel is such a good make so over the moon with that. Finally I'm going to move on to my Shein picks for the month. As you know, they get in touch and send me a few pieces each month, so I thought I would share them. There's a, there's a, hit, a couple of hit and misses in here. One thing didn't fit at all, so I'm not even going to show you that. Um, this is probably my favourite thing from all the bits I got. So it's just a basic plain white t-shirt, cropped, and then the back is completely open. I've worn this to death this summer. It's got like a bar across the back of your neck so it doesn't fall off your shoulders. But it's just really low cut, a really nice basic. I love a basic with a twist. This next thing I loved, but I just feel like wide leg trousers do nothing for me. And they just, I don't know, they just make me look bigger than I am. I loved the concept of this, it looks stunning on the website. And I wanted to take this to Ibiza with me, but I didn't bother in the end because I just felt like a whale, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so it's just elasticated bottoms, gorgeous, gorgeous colour, wide leg. So nice, really nice fabric as well. And then the top to go with them is this yellow ruffle one. Hang on, it looks like that. I love this. And I, I took it away with me, I didn't end up wearing it. But the trousers, I'm just, they're not for me. They just don't suit me. But I have been wearing this with blue denim and it looks stunning. Obviously, I'm not going to get much wear out of it come autumn. But absolutely love the top. But the trousers were just a bit meh. Didn't really like them. Did nothing for my body shape. Sticking with the yellow theme, I picked up this bodysuit, which I adore. It's really slinky. Again, it's got a low back. Um, it's a thong as well, so there's no VPL when you've got this on with like jeans and stuff. Just a really nice little basic. It is quite thin, so I haven't worn it yet. So when I do, I'm going to have to wear nipple covers that you can then attach to your chest so it pulls your boobs up because, let's be honest, my breasts are going to fall out the side of this. Really affordable. If you're after body suits, check out Shein because they've got some gorgeous ones. The fabric is so soft. I love that. Then these are a little bit out of my comfort zone. 
but something drew me towards them. I recently bought a massive like black oversized hoodie from Primark and I'm thinking it'll go so well with these and they're like a snake skin cycling short. Now it took me a while to get on board with the whole cycling short trend and I've only just accepted black cycling shorts but there was just something about these. I don't know whether it's my inner chav. I think with some white trainers, a black hoodie and maybe like a smart sort of uh, camely coloured coat look really nice. I'm not going to get that much more wear out of them because it is getting cooler but for now I love them and I think that is a look. And then the last thing in this haul is a pair of pyjamas from Shein. I didn't realise they did such amazing pyjamas. If you haven't checked out their pyjama section and you are a PJ lover you need to head over there because they've got some gorgeous ones. So I picked these up, I love them. They're more, more of a summery pyjama but I'll probably still wear these through to the autumn, winter. And it's this cherry print, absolutely stunning. This is like a peplum sort of top. Absolutely love the print of this. And then they come with the trousers, like a little bow here. And they go right down, really long. Absolutely love these. I got them in a large, I believe. Everything I got from Shein would be extra large or large. Um, I never go any smaller than that. I just think they're really cute, really fun. I haven't seen anything like these in the shops. I originally bought them to take to Ibiza because of the whole, you know, like Pasha cherry thing. But I didn't have enough room in my suitcase, so I didn't take them in the end. But I love them. If you want me to do a Shein pyjama haul, let me know because I think that could be such a cool video because I'd love to try them out. I am such a pyjama lover. How many times can I say pyjamas in one sentence? That is everything I've got over the last couple of months, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I haven't done a big ass haul for ages. I've just been saving my money. So if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button if you do like hauls or any sort of fashion content. I'd love to see some new faces around here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.